Have you ever been at the stoplight and you're waiting to say turn left, so you've got your blinker on, and you're watching the car in front of you, their blinker's flashing, and you're like, oh cool, they're in phase. And then you wait a couple seconds and they're out of phase. A couple seconds later, they're in phase again. This is a concept called beats. Now, there's nothing really special about it there with light. It's just kind of cool if your blinker matches up. But with sound, if you have two frequencies that you're listening to that are slightly different, these frequencies are slightly different. You hear kind of a wah wah. Those are beats. What's happening, if the frequencies are very slightly different, Remember the concept of superposition, you just add the two displacements together to get the resultant. If the frequencies are slightly different, they'll be in phase for a second and then out of phase, and then in phase, and then out of phase, and then in phase, and then out of phase. We get this variation in loudness. This is loud. How fast it goes between loud and soft depends upon how far apart these frequencies are. They're closer now, so the wah wah is a lot slower. Okay. It's called a beat. The rate at which that does that is called the beat frequency. So the beat frequency you can think of as the wah-wah frequency, the rate at which it wah-wahs at, louder to softer, louder to softer. The beat frequency, easy enough, is simply the difference between the two frequencies you're listening to. So for example, if we heard tuning an instrument, for example, if you're tuning an instrument, for example, in an orchestra, you tune to concert A, which is 440 hertz. If the frequency of, say, your string isn't exactly 440 hertz, you're going to be hearing beats. Let's say we're talented enough to recognize that we hear a beat frequency of 3 hertz. That means it's going loud, soft, loud, soft, three times per second. What are the possible values of F2? That's right. 437 hertz or 443 hertz. It can be either one. Just hearing the beats doesn't tell you whether you're high or low. Let's say you went ahead and tightened the string just a tiny little bit and it made the beats go away. So it, was low. it would have had, made you low, so your frequency was low, so you had to have had the 437 hertz. If you had been 443 and tightened your string just a little bit, keep in mind tightening the string increases the velocity of the wave. The wavelength set by the length of the string, so if velocity increases, then the frequency has to increase as well. By tightening the string, you're increasing the frequency. So if we had had 443, it was our original frequency, and tightened the string, our beat frequency would have gone up. We would have been even further away. So beats, not, I don't know really of any actual musician who can sit and tell you just by hearing exactly how many beats they're hearing. But if you hear beats, you know you're out of tune. So you got to tune your instrument.